Hi folks and welcome to this video where I'm going to be responding to comments and questions that I got on my last video which was the second part of my comparison of Metacat and the Joy for All cat. So the last video that I did generated a lot of comments some of which were very detailed and thanks a bunch for all of those comments. I found some of them really interesting. And before I start answering questions, I'd just like to acknowledge these couple of comments. First of all, oh my God, that's actually hilarious. Thanks for checking. This was in relation to the request I got to check out the, co the voice command, come here with Metacat where Metacat shook its head when I gave that command. So it was my pleasure checking that out. And thanks for asking me to do that because I didn't realise I was going to get such a hilarious reaction from Metacat. And that's why I hadn't bothered trying out that voice command. So thanks for the suggestion. And this is the other comment. I've just stumbled on this channel and I've got to say, I've never seen this type of content before. Are they toys or just robotics projects? Whatever the case, they're so fascinating. Well, interestingly, they're not toys and they're not robotic projects. They're consumer yeah. robots aimed at adults. Though this one is built more like a project in the sense that it uses servo motors. Mm. And the other one is built more like a toy, like a toy yeah. because it was made uh, originally As a toy. designed yeah. on, on a toy. Mm -hmm. And it uses DC motors with like cams and gears and yes. lots of plastic cocks and things like that. But it's really interesting that you say you've never seen this type of content before, because I have a hard time trying to find this type of content to watch myself. Yeah, well, there aren't a great deal of... Uh consumer robots available are there it's, um, it's an uh, increasing area yeah consumer robots that are companion companionable mm. or pet like yeah or pet like yeah um and you're quite right for a long time it's been really thin on the ground but in the last 12 months it's been quite exciting oh yeah it does seem to have been taken off doesn't it yeah and it's also interesting uh that this person asked are they toys or robotics projects because I'm also interested in some toys that have got interesting capabilities and sensors and I do cover those on this channel as well and I'm interested in making my own projects and the current project that we're working on is with an animatronic tail the paws developed and combining that with a toy. So I hope you'll check out my videos on that project as well. So now let's look at the questions I was asked on my last video. So the first question I was asked about Metacat was, did Elephant Robotics redesign the poorly designed battery compartment that was on version one? Of Metacat. Mm. So if you look on Amazon, you'll see lots of complaints about the battery door on the first Metacat. Mm, it, was, it was falling off, wasn't it? Coming on screen. Yes, it was off. very poorly designed. What did it take? Four C cells? Yes. Mm. I have never had version one of the Metacat. I did find it a bit off putting the fact that. A lot of people were saying how poorly designed the battery door was on mm, the battery uh -huh, compartment. Uh -huh. It was one of the things that put me off not getting good, the first model. Yeah, not a good sign, is it? But in this version, mm -hmm. they've actually put in a rechargeable battery pack. All right, so there is no battery door now because there's nothing to take off to put new batteries in and out. That's right. Right. And you use a charging cable to charge up the inbuilt battery. So this is a diagram in the instructions 
of where to put the charging cable in the Metacat. It takes a type C cable and that is included with the Metacat. And when it's charging, the blue LED lights up. The next comments concerned the light sensor on the Joy for All cat. Oh. Oh. So I said in my last video, I wasn't convinced that the Joy for All cat had a light sensor yeah, that's because right. it didn't seem to get triggered like the Joy for All bird and the Joy for All pup. Yeah, we never really noticed it responding to light in any way or darkness or anything like that. So these are the comments that I received. Uh -huh. The light sensor on the Joy for All confused me as well mm -hmm. when I first got it, but I'm sure I figured out how it works. Let me try to explain. The light sensor isn't very sensitive. Mm -hmm. The cat doesn't fall asleep when it's too dark, like the walker squawker does. Mm. Instead, it only seems to come on when the cat is sitting on a high surface, and even then it's his hit or miss. I believe the light sensor is located between the eyes and the forehead because oh. it seemingly works better when I brush the fur out of the way. Oh, that is interesting. We'll have to see if we can find it. What I do to trigger the light sensor is wave in front of the cat. Mm -hmm. It should meow and turn its head towards you. Right. However, I have the original Hasbro version from 2016. And I don't know if Ageless Innovations made a relaunch of the cat that's different to the original. Right. Hope that helps. Yes. Thanks very much for that Something detailed yeah. explanation. Mm. So, for those of you who may not know, the Joy for All cat was originally made by Hasbro and then they sold it off to Ageless Innovations. And I just got my Joy for All cat last year, 2022. So obviously that was produced by Ageless Innovations. So we'll try to brush the fur away. Yeah, we'll try and locate it. I mean, it, it could be that um, if it is in that location and uh, that it responds variably depending on how, how, on how much fur is in the way. Yeah. Um, so I'm quite keen to uh, have a look now and see if I can actually find any little holes around that area. Okay. Yeah. Have a look then, Paul. Okay. So there does appear to be like some sort of recess hole there, but it's actually behind the fabric. So um, it might respond differently if we brush the fur away. I mean, that, we could try that, certainly. Uh, but uh, to find out for sure, you'd have to make a small incision to run and have a oh, peek with the fur. No, of course <laughs> not. Of course not, no. So Paul's parted the fur and he's got a really strong light focused on the cat. So no, I'm not noticing any reaction. It could be that Ageless Innovations cat is less sensitive because they improved the fur on the cat. Or um, maybe they've changed the code and uh, the code is only looking for subtle changes rather than strong changes, so, so like a shadow when a person goes past. It's difficult to know what sort of change in light is being looked for in the code. It's certainly interesting though, because it does suggest that um, Joy for All models that were produced by Hasbro are functioning different, yeah, differently yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? than the Joy mm, for All mm. models produced by Ageless Innovations. Did they change the fur? I believe that they did, yes. Well, maybe they kept everything the same electronics-wise and software-wise and they changed the fur and it's more dense, it's made it less sensitive. Mm, that could well be the case. Mm, mm. This is another comment that I got about the Joy for All having a light sensor. I have the Joy for All cat she does have a light sensor. I have the Joy for All pup and the bird too. 
And when I switch the lights on in the morning, they all wake up. And at various times in the day, with sunlight, etc. So that comment makes me think that um, the light sensor on the Joy for All cat um, and the software is, is just waking the cat. So the cat's got to fall asleep first. And then the light sensor wakes it up when the light level increases. So the way we've just been testing it there, where the cat's on, and we've been shining a torch in its face, it's not going to do anything because it sounds like maybe it only works when the cat's fallen asleep and then the light level increases and that's what wakes it up. Though with the Hasbro no. model, no. it did, as this person said, it, it does trigger it when it's no. not in standby. Right. Because it turns towards you. Right. So to test this on my model tomorrow, yeah, I'll I'll leave the cat on standby okay. tonight, yeah, and I'll get the cat and the dog and the bird all next to one another. Yep, good idea. And see what happens. Start filming before you turn the lights on. Yeah, this is the next comment and question: Does MetaCat respond to light as well? One of the things I love about the Joy for All is the constant interaction during the day. And someone else asks, when did I order my Metacat and does it have a motion sensor? So, uh, in answer to the first comment, that one of the things the person loves about the Joy for All is the constant interaction during the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder what model they have, if it's by... Ageless Innovations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or if it's by Hasbro mm -hmm. because I'm really starting to think that there's quite a difference mm. in how the light sensor operates Maybe. Yeah. in, in yeah. the two. But folks, I did a video a while ago which demonstrated what my Joy for All does when it goes on standby during the day and what I didn't like about it so I'll just play you that clip now. I left Marmalade in the hallway next to Charlie and I found that Marmalade keeps making this mournful meow. That was it just then. And it doesn't seem to be in reaction to anything. It's just like every so many seconds marmalade will make this mournful meow and that alternates with this other sound that marmalade makes i find the first part of that sound a bit creepy and then the last bit just nothing that a cat would make I've never heard a cat make a sound anywhere like that, either the creepy bit or the bit that follows. And then straight after that, it goes back to the mournful meow again. And that's what it does, seemingly, for hour after hour. So I would really be interested in hearing how viewers joy for old cat acts on standby and if it's different to mine as far as metacat responding to light and does it have a motion sensor no metacat does not have any kind of sensor for motion or light it has touch sensors and a microphone and those are all the sensors in metacat and in answer to the final question when did i order metacat I ordered Metacat on the 22nd of March and he ar arrived early, way before the estimated delivery date. So folks, that's all I've got time for in this video. I'll be back tomorrow when I test out the light sensor on the Joy For All while the Joy For All is on standby. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always. And see you next time.